Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this series of videos of Acumatica 2023 R1, we're going to talk about how tasks in Acumatica have been improved. So we now have a redesigned task list under tasks, under time and expenses. You can find it here in the workspace. One of the things you notice is that as you're highlighting or selecting through your different tasks, you now have a pop-up panel that can give you a bird's eye view of what that task is about. If we open up this particular task, Acumatic has also reorganized this screen. The first thing you notice is that Acumatica added a subtitle which matches the summary for better visibility. Complete and follow up and cancel are available if you're in an open or processing status of the task. You're in a draft status, only the cancel button will be enabled. And the completed and canceled status, none of these buttons are available. The other thing you'll notice is that there's a new parent activity. So what Acumatica did here is they merged everything into one activities panel. So what you can do is you can create tasks, emails, or any other activity that you have here. If you're using Microsoft Teams, you'll see that option here as well. So what we did here is we created a task. So in order to complete this loss analysis report, we created a task that we're going to need to get training from Cloud9. So we put that in there and you can see the parent activity here. There's its own due date that's associated to this task. And this will give you pop-up reminders accordingly. And this particular task has its own status and priorities. And then we follow it up with an email. We can get into the portal to create our case to get our training. And you can see all your individual dates here. And if we go back out, under tasks, you can manage these individual tasks accordingly. You'll see the emails under our emails screen. These other screens have been enhanced in the previous version. So additionally, in the mobile app, you'll find that any of these task activities or the related child activities will show up under recently visited. Under time and expenses, as mentioned before, you'll find tasks here. Here's where you can look at your existing tasks or click the plus button to create a new one. We open it up. We can see all of the different filters, the same filters we're seeing here. And if we open up this particular task, the one we were looking at on our web browser, you can see all these additional fields. You click on additional info, you can see your parent activity. We go to activities, we can see all our sub activities. And over here, you have different icons to do different things as a child to this particular task. So for example, if I need to create a new task for this, schedule training with Cloud9 ERP solutions. I have my status, my priority. I can put a due date on here to make sure that we're following our due date so that we can get this parent task done, which has its own due date. We could set a reminder for it. And you'll notice under additional info, you can see the parent activity. And then when it's all done, we can click on the checkbox here. And now we have a new task associated. If we go into our task here on the web, you notice everything is real time. And keep in mind, you can create tasks within tasks within tasks. So if I wanted to go into this one, I could also have child activities accordingly, any of these activities that we want to add. Also keep in mind that this particular task, we're looking at it here, if we click on the dot, 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 this gives us all our menu items. We go to activities, you can see all the different types of options you can do under the activities area. But consistent with both areas of the screen, you can add this record to favorites. So if this is an important task to you, you can add it to favorites. And when you go back into the home screen of your mobile app, 
and you click on favorites, you can see any of the favorite transactions that are important to you and you can get to them easily. So that's it. That's the task improvements that have been made in Acumatica 2023 R1. If you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, please click the like button and have a great day.